I think they've really stuck with the more relatable direction you help them land on. I can't say it's necessarily my taste, but as you know, my taste is fairly highbrow for a girl my age. Like I always say, age is just a number. Ooh, I do like that dress though. Can you keep it down, please? Can you chill out? That's exactly what I'm trying to do. This is the only day that I have to myself without Astrid or boy drama or friend drama, so just shh. I'll get it. My son, be attentive to my wisdom. Incline your ear to my understanding, that you may keep discretion, and your lips may guard knowledge. For the lips of an adulterous woman hey. drips honey. Well, you guys made it. It's not like I have anything better to do. But in the end, she is bitter as gall. Sharp Where's Luna? Um, she bailed last minute. I'm sure her dad is thrilled with that. <laughs> yeah, Reverend Dave isn't too pleased. Shh. Now, I don't usually take days off, but it being Sunday and the Crown Lake Car Show, I'm gonna give myself a free pass. There you go. There's a little something extra inside your paychecks. Thank you, Junior. Don't go spending it all in one place. And don't forget to lock up. Have fun at the car show? I plan to. All right, I'm trusting both of you. So what are you going to spend it on? This is leather jacket, vanilla and sage. Yeah, I've been saving up it. It'll finally be mine. Nice. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Look what the cat dragged in. Hey, Johnny. Uh, did my cousin tell you I was coming? You know, River said that you'd be crashing with us, but he didn't give me any details. Oh, my girlfriend kicks me out of her house. I just need some time to figure things out. Sorry to hear that, man. Feel free, make yourself at home. Our casa is now a Sioux casa. Who's here? Ah! <laughs> and Colleen, my darling Rhyme, I've missed you so. You've grown so much, I can't believe it. <laughs> and so have you. <laughs> mm. Is your mom here? No, she's running errands. Good. And Astrid? She's working, she has a job at Junior's. Oh, a busy bee. Huh. Well, this is why she hasn't been answering my calls or texts. <clears throat> Show me to the direction of the powder room, mon chavis. <laughs> I have to freshen up.
What? Oh, I was just thinking about that story at the open mic last night. No, about the, the, the guy. The guy stuff in his beard? <laughs> I was thinking the same thing when that guy walked in. <laughs> I had such a great time last night. Same. <laughs> Just lost the bunker. Get your head in the game. Sorry. So you guys just like do whatever you want, whenever you want. I mean, basically. I mean, it's pretty chill here. Just do your own dishes and do mine, and uh, stay on top of your crap, and we'll be cool. So what are you going to do during your two week suspension? I don't know. You want some advice? Sure. Get better at this game, you suck. What did you do to yourself? I don't know. It's okay. Okay, first things first. Let's put down the scissors, okay? Oh. We can fix this. We can fix this. I hope. Oh my god. Okay. It's okay. I'm just so glad Astrid has a role model like you. So focused and driven and so well behaved. You remind me of myself when I was your age. Oh, I do? Yes. I loved writing. I wanted to be a poet. But your grandmother wouldn't let me. So I moved to New York and I met this wonderful artist mentor. And I moved to Paris and Berlin. Wow. Your life seems pretty great. <laughs> it was, sweetie. It really, really was. But enough of my ramblings. Shall we go to Junior's to surprise Astrid? Yeah, uh, I can text her and let her know. Oh, it'll be more fun if we surprise her. So, not too much God stuff. It's kind of nice to have an idea of something to believe in. Right? Yeah. And when things start to get really bad, you know, like uh, injuries, uh, breakups, losing people, it's really easy to just want to give up, you know? Maybe even think, like, is this even worth it? I don't know, maybe uh, if there is something bigger out there, you know? At the end of it, it'll all be okay, right? Hey, hey, what's wrong? I know we didn't really hang out much before this semester, but things just kind of seem off with you. I haven't really talked about it with anybody. Well, if you don't want to talk about it. No, I do, I do. I just, I haven't really found the right person to turn to. I'm all ears. Ever since the accident, I thought everything was okay, and I, kept, I just kept having these nightmares, and I just can't find a way to make it stop. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, Brian. Hey, is Astrid here? This is her mom, Colleen. Um, actually, she just went on break. Aren't you a handsome boy? I bet Astrid has a big crush on you. 
So, have you liked working with my daughter? Yeah, she's great. <laughs> well, be careful. I just wouldn't want to see a sweet boy like yourself getting hurt. You know what, Aunt Colleen, we can just meet Astrid back at the house. Nonsense, she's just on a quick break. She'll be back any second, right, Wesley? It's actually just Wes. You two would make an adorable couple, actually. See? I fixed it. Looks good. Okay. Now, can you please tell me what's going on? I know this isn't about Drake. You're right. It's not. What is it then? Come on, I'm your sister. You can tell me anything. I got a secret. I want you to keep I'm in love with someone. Who is he? So she. Stephanie. Okay. Well, that's cool. It's not cool. She's dating someone else. I'm here for you. No matter what, I'll help you through this. Thank you for telling me. I love you. only a little older than you in this one. Wow, you look just like Astrid. <laughs> I think I was a little prettier. Rhyme, are you feeling well? You look a little pale. Yeah, you know, all of a sudden, I don't feel the greatest. Oh, no. You want some water? No, no, I'm good. It's just like a stomach thing, so I think maybe we should go. Oh, well, you're no fun. All right, fine, we'll go. Bye, Wes. Tell Astrid I stop by, will you? Sure thing. All right. No, it's okay. She's... Awful. Yeah, I know. Hey, it's okay. <laughs> I'm just really glad I have you. something? No, I, I mean... What? Uh, did you think that the storytelling thing last night was a date? Was it? Oh. I really like you, Astrid. You're super cool and fun to hang out with, but I... I just don't think that I'm really ready for a relationship right now. Yeah, thanks for being honest. I think I'm gonna head out early if you don't mind. Somebody tell me what to do. Brady, that's not what this is. I'm in love with Luna. I just thought- You thought wrong. Somebody tell me what to do. 
Was that my mom? Yep. That's Molly. That's your grandmother over there. And that's me next to your mom. You guys look so happy. Yeah. Life before having a kid on your own is a lot easier. Especially when that kid's so difficult. I always wonder what life would have been like if I hadn't had Astrid. My darling. What are you doing here, Mom? A mom needs a reason to visit her only child? <laughs> Can I talk to you? Alone. Please. I'm gonna ask you again. Why are you here? I wanted to see you. God, Mom, can you stop lying for once in your life? I know why you're here. What are you looking at? Next time on Chicken Girls. So, how is church? Did you still get something out of it without me there? Why are you asking that? I wanted to talk to you. Oh, now you want to talk to me. Relationships are built on the foundation of trust. Without trust, we have nothing. Spike, 